What's up guys? So today we're doing another quick uh, LED modification on the fit. There's gonna be a few of these LED modifications because LEDs are pretty sick. So today we have some, I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you want to take a stab at that? Oxito, global supplier for automotive. LED lights. We have already installed one last night to just kind of see how bright it is. So we'll turn this on real quick for you. And even with these really really faded headlights like there's a pretty clear difference if you want to rotate around and take a look at these headlights so this one has the led light in it that has the old incandescent like i said these headlights are very faded we're going to restore them there'll be a video on that too but you can already see how big of a difference that is like that's pretty big all things considered so we're going to go ahead and install the other side show you how to do it uh, you can follow us along on this we'll take a quick look at what comes in your little package that was definitely not smashed, but kind of was smashed, but it's fine. So you can see here we have the stock light we pulled out and this is our new light. Uh, for the record, just so you know, these do fit in the same way that the stock lights do, but you know, sometimes they're just a little bit of a pain in the butt to get to. But we're gonna open this up and uh, do that. These are pretty nice, they're very small little LEDs. I'm gonna take a quick little close up of this. Very tiny. On both sides. So we did save the harder side to do now. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, a quick note. Headlights are always disgusting. I don't know why. Bulb grease? I have no idea. They're always disgusting. Put a glove on. I did my blow valve and I didn't get that dirty. But like, I would get dirtier doing this, you know? So, on the back here, if you take a look, if you can get in there, there's a rubber little boot guy right there. And there's the main plug for the light. So, you're just gonna reach in and you're gonna grab the plug and hit everything, and then just unplug it. You can see there's a bunch of bubble grease and stuff in there. Then you're gonna grab the rubber boot and just peel it off, okay? There's your rubber boot, put that to the side. Now inside here, see if you can try to get a, a view of it. There is, uh, on the back of the headlight, there's a clip that you have to, it, it's just pressure. You just have to pop it with your finger and it'll, it'll flip out of the way and it'll move the bulb. Maybe. You might be able to see it. Um, maybe, well, you can kind of see the clip. So I'll point to it. So yeah. the clip is right here. That's the back side. So if you push on this and flip it like that, you can see it swings out and that removes our factory bulb. Okay. So that's literally it. It takes a very short amount of time. We'll set that up there. And then the new bulb goes in quite literally just the opposite of so we're gonna go ahead and move our wires a bit. Don't want them in the way. Move your clip back. Um, the best way you can figure to line this up, the clip, this is the top on the clip right here. So when you put it in, it's gonna go in this direction. So just get it in there until you find the slots like that. And then push your clip. back into place like that and the new bulb is installed now we're just going to take our little rubber boot guy you're going to line the center hole pull that out of the way you line the center hole to your three prongs here and just feed it over until you can kind of push the boot in place and take a look you can see one two there we go three that's all three prongs through and then you're just going to push on the back of the boot till it goes back in place so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick and then just take your plug remember the top one is the middle find the prongs and shove it back in place okay that should be it we'll go ahead and turn on the headlights here and like i said for some reason bulbs are disgusting 
Hopefully that plugs on there anyway. And there you go. So, LED headlights, really quick, really easy. One thing we did notice driving this today with just the one replaced, the uh, daytime running light, the little guy was flashing in the cluster. Uh, I'm gonna look up if there's a way to fix that, just kind of trick the system into thinking everything's kind of good. If not, honestly, I'm probably just going to ignore it. And go probably, because it just doesn't matter that much. You know, they look much better. They're gonna be a lot brighter. We compared them at night. We'll try to get a quick little clip at night, uh, just so you guys can see like how like, bright these guys really are. But that's gonna do it. We're putting LED lights in your pit. So, you know, let us know what you thought about the lights. Oh, uh, sorry, real quick. These will be linked in the description. We got them on Amazon. They were 50 bucks mm -hmm. with prime shipping, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 50 bucks prime shipping, pretty good deal, all things considered. Um, Cause like I said, a Sylvania Silver Stars will kick you back like, I think 70 bucks these days. And like they're not as bright as these. So yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys thought of the video of the LED lights. If you were considering LED lights, but didn't necessarily know how to approach that situation. Um, I like them, I think they're really cool. Do you like them? Yeah. They're your car, so like I hope you like them. I have a soft spot for incandescents. Do you? I do. Uh, you know, I, but do, I they, do want older cars. They make sense on, LEDs make sense on the fit because it's- It's new enough. Fairly to new, yeah. yeah. Exactly, that's kind of my thing. I feel like anything post 2000. Yeah, LEDs should be kind of like the norm. LEDs make sense. But like, I, you know what I think the biggest thing for me is, as weird as it sounds, the plastic uh, reflector, reflector, whatever the hell, it reflects the lights inside. The style of it, I feel like changed. Probably, From like the yeah. 90s when they were all incandescent. Yeah. And they're just kind of cheesy now. So like using incandescent behind them doesn't look as good, but like the incandescents that you find in like the Miata lights, the map lights, they look really good. Yeah. So uh, I agree with you on that. This is definitely new enough where I think LEDs are the yeah. way to go. So, yeah, same. Uh, like I said, let us know what you guys thought and pick up a set for yourself. They're pretty nice. So yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do stuff, click things. There's a whole rigmarole. <laughs> you all know that. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one.